hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, or should I say hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic. I'm um, just playing around with making a few quick inserts for my traveler's notebook, and I've, I wanted to make a quick little dashboard, and instead of having to laminate a dashboard every time I want to change, I came up with a way to make it interchangeable. I've done this once and I think I made it a little small so I'm going to make another one for my um, Foxy Fix which I'm in the process of setting up and using. So I just put together this little notebook of grid paper that I just had laying around so I can do like just some notes for Christmas and things like that and just decorated the cover with a little washi. So I wanted to make a dashboard. So what I'm going to do, I know I've seen a video online where they use, she used the cellophane bags and laminated them to make a uh, shaker card. And I have done that before. I like a little more depth with my shaker so that um, the the sequins and beads and everything have a little more space to move around and shake easier. But anyway, so what I'm going to do first is to do this, I needed a laminate pocket and two clear bags that you use for packaging. So like you could use the ones you um, get with your stickers or whatever the case may be. And what I'm going to do, it doesn't matter which size you cut, which sides, I am going to put, this is for a personal size. So that's three and three quarters by six and three quarters or six and a half, depending on who you ask. I'm going to go with cutting these four by seven, I think. No, I'm going to cut them the exact size. So I'm going to cut them six and three quarters. And it doesn't matter that you're cutting off one side because your laminate is going to um, seal up the other side. Do I need to go seven? No, I'm gonna go six and three quarters. Yeah, I better stand up. And I'm cutting both sheets, both uh, pouches at the same time. So I'm just going to cut off the top. And you kind of have to be careful because it picks up every little bit of lint. And if you don't want it inside your laminate, it's really, I probably should wipe this off. It has little pieces of paper on it. So I'm going to go ahead and go four wide. And I hope I'm not sorry for this. Yeah, I'm going to go four wide. And let's hope for the best. So, get rid of those. Let's make sure I don't have any lint on them anywhere. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is pop these into the laminate pouch. And try to line them up as best as you can. It's kind of hard to see them. Um, let's put the first one in. Make sure we get it straight. I'm putting it on the edge. Maybe that's not a good idea since you can't really see it that well. Let's see if I can put paper underneath. You can see better. Yeah. Let's get a big sheet. Okay. So... I'm going to try and line these up a little better than that. And I want to leave about an inch or three quarters of an inch in between them. Now I gotta straighten that up more. Use my grid to straighten everything up. Oh, 
Okay. I hope that's good. So yeah, this is how I laid them out. And they're not perfectly straight, which I don't understand why. Where's my ruler? Let's try this. Okay, I think I got it just right. So this is how you put your two pockets in. And I already have my laminator warming up. Let's see if it's ready to go. Yes, it is. So now I'm just going to pop this in the laminator, try not to move anything. Laminate the pouches. Okay, so let's turn this off. Okay, so this is what you get. Sorry, this is just going to be a glare intensive video. So this is what it turns, how it turns out. So what I'm going to do is fold this in half. Try to work on my crease just to make sure everything did line up properly and it did so now let's just fold it the other way I'm going to trim the left and right side and then some of the bottom going to put a piece of paper under there again so that I can see better and not have to guesstimate where the edge is which is not helping very much you want to make sure you don't cut into the bubble around the edge of the um, product bags so see cut close to the edge but not into the bubble Let's cut this left side right side oops cut the paper Okay, now when you get to the top, or what you will be using as the top, you need to cut into the bubble, actually a little over the bubble. So this is going to be the top where you're sliding in your um, dashboard graphic, paper, whatever you want to use. So I'm just going to trim it down to... It's close to that edge as I can get it for now. So on this particular side, you're actually cutting past the seal. So you're basically breaking the seal. So here, as you can see on this, I cut the top part of the bag off and it was sealed around that. So then Your pouch should open right up, like so. If you can get your fingers to work right. So now you have two pouches, and you can easily find a piece of pattern paper that might fit. 
So let's just pretend this is the right cut to the right size. You can easily pop in whatever graphic or dashboard you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine together and show you how it works. Let me clean up my space. So, this is just me testing paper size. I'm going to remove these for now. Take everything out. Okay. So, I want my dashboard to fit around everything. Now, I left it a little long, so now I think I am going to go ahead and round um, where my fold is. I don't know if I want to use a corner rounder or just use, I think I'm just going to use my hole punch. So in the middle of that fold and halfway the hole punch, I'm just going to cut a half circle out on both ends of the laminate. Okay. And remember, I left it a little long, so I may need to trim this down a little for it to fit. Nope. It's going to fit just right. So... I'll leave my measurements for this below because I don't need to remeasure it. I was just guesstimating, I guess you'd say. So now I just need to figure out what size paper to put in here. And it looks like the three and three quarter by six and a half is going to do it. I could probably do just short of six and three quarters. So I'm just going to go with six and a half. Um, let's just use a piece of scrap paper for now. I'm going to go and print out an image that I specifically wanted to use and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I printed out these two images. Uh, not quite what I expected, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to ride with it. And I'm going to cut these down. Daughters. I'm going to cut these down to fit into my pocket. And I'll add sentiments to them maybe later. I don't know. I'm just, this is just going with the flow right now. And if you wanted to make these even more sturdy, which is something that I kind of thought about doing, um, you could actually laminate your card or your image that you're using to make it that a little more sturdy. But you could still, you know, have your cards to change out whenever you want instead of them being stuck in a dashboard. They could be laminated and used for other purposes. Um, let's see, I don't even know where to cut this one at. I'm just going to take a wild guess here. Cut it right there. definitely will be adding some kind of something on the top of that one so 
either you can laminate these together or however you want to do it. I am just going to leave them as is for now because I'm not sure that I'm going to use these and I wanted the car to be on the front. It is a little bit bigger than Santa. Mm -hmm. I guess the hardest part of this is getting the pouches open. So then you just slide in your dashboard and voila! Paper. Okay, so that works. See that? So then you can just put your notebook or your inserts, whatever you want to call it, in as well. So for now, I got two little measly things in there. But I can put my old stuff back in. And with the dashboard, let's see. I'll need to put something in this back piece. But it can either go through all of the strings or you can make one for each section. I, I noticed a lot of people have multiple dashboards. And you'll probably have to kind of play with this a little bit to um, train the laminate the way you need it to lay but for the most part yeah that's it so I'm going to continue working on my notebook and I'll talk to you later thanks for watching bye